Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, this episode where we're going to play, actually, the Windbreaker Challenge. It's a tournament that contains just one wind direction for the entire, um, the entire tournament. So we're going to have the same uh, wind for all the 18 holes. How are you doing, Stefan? Thank you for the good luck. Yeah, we qualified. Uh, this is uh, Tour Pro, so it's the... How's it called? The highest uh, division there is in uh, Ultimate Golf currently. So uh, the rewards are pretty nice. The balls are pretty good. I didn't have the until now Tour Pro uh, balls, but uh, anyone, everyone, we're gonna get some. So I'm gonna get at least uh, 18 of this. Until now, uh, for the other rounds, I uh, played only with. Uh, Pro D1 balls, so those one I do have uh, like uh, kind of a lot of them since uh, I'm playing tournaments, so I'm gaining uh, Pro D1 balls for uh, for that. So I'm using those uh, currently for the day-to-day -day, uh, you know tour play and uh, and tournaments until the final round. On the final round today, we're gonna use pretty much I think the Crouching Dragon. It has a very good wind uh, reduction, so I think the best there is, it's minus 80% uh, percent wind. We can use other balls uh, if we feel comfortable, like uh, fire balls. We have also some scorpions, so uh, yeah, these ones with 60% uh, wind are good for sending shots, or uh, even lower than 60. But uh, yeah, pretty much all the paid balls are above 60% wind reduction and they all uh, go from uh, plus 8 power to plus 11 the only one that I have plus 11 in my uh, in my uh, bag of balls is the Pro DXmos ball which has uh, plus 11 but no wind reduction so this is very very good for sending winds and together with uh, my new uh, added club, the Red Barchetta level 5, which will gonna gain a lot of distance and has a pretty decent topspin to uh, gain, you know, on the par 4s if we do have uh, sanded winds. I hope we do uh, get some good wind conditions here, but I already I got uh, <laughs> a spoiler in the chat that we will gonna have headwinds <laughs> so uh, yeah that means we're gonna need to reduce those uh, those winds to uh, get the drops easier uh, than cross what we had yeah we have headwinds so basically what ball did I choose yeah the crunching dragon basically I know that I'm not gonna reach over there not with this wind condition. Let me check my ball guide. Uh, not really. I'm gonna be close. I'm gonna be in max wedge, so I don't want that. I prefer to be in uh, max uh, long iron with the. Oh, wait a second. I forgot to do something really, really, really important on this one. So, yeah, we're gonna have all, uh, all the wind condition. We're gonna be a uh, headwind. Okay, I placed the Iron Eagle. This is a. Uh, not a good club to use, but I'm using it because it has a very low power. So, I don't know if you're... I said short iron. Even the basic has more power, so uh, you're not gonna go um, over my Bigfoot. I want to use my Bigfoot a lot. So, uh, actually, we're gonna be using the Iron Eagle and... Since I know that now, I will not upgrade this uh, this club ever again, just to have the same uh, power. How are you doing, Jared? You had knock out by one shot on this one yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Gonna make it up for you. I uh, speed played yesterday, and uh, apparently I I did qualify. But uh, you know, like uh, Johnny said. Uh, uh, you guys are getting very tough brackets in Tour Pro, and I'm uh, I'm not matching up with the uh, you know. Well, I did had some whiskey business inside, 
But uh, yeah, I guess uh, they saw my name and said, no, we're gonna leave this guy. Uh, he's the first time he's going in Tour Pro, so we'll uh, not get kick his ass right now. Let's uh, let's give him at least one tournament. So I'm actually placing it for uh, the distance of my uh, long iron there, which is my Bigfoot. <coughs> So oh, nice headwind, easy to deal with here. Okay. up you see the edge I want to be in the hole now we're gonna offset for the wind we're gonna be about two bars I'm still working with that solution with the one bar for two miles an hour wind It. I hope the, it has a better perfect zone. Ooh, just bounced over the hole. A bit too much there. Just a bit too much. Little John Bell. Welcome. How are you doing? That wasn't a bad shot. Definitely not. Close, 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 close. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get some drops here. If uh, all the wind conditions are the same, it's easier to uh, actually uh, get that dialed. So, par 5. Gonna send it as far as we can. Gonna use special balls because we're gonna gain special balls, so... The best place we can get... It's what we are gonna try to achieve here. Is the music level okay or it's a bit too loud? Please let me know. In my headset it's uh it's okay. Okay, so we're not gonna reach with the uh, with this uh, wood club, so we're gonna change it to uh El Capitan here. I, and actually I'm gonna leave it there because only the par fives I uh I'm gonna use it. If I'm not gonna need a backspin with the wood club, I'm gonna keep the El Capitan inside to get the distance. Okay, so 3.8 it's like 1.3 rings. Gotta make sure that I have uh, those rings to adjust before I'm pushing it to max. Gonna get oh my! Gonna get the old top spin on it. And I'm gonna go full of OP. Oh! Okay, it doesn't look that terrible. They're all gonna get their own there. Okay, full OP it is. And again, I'm hitting early. Okay, I should be around in uh, the no adjustment uh, range for the club. So how to check that? It's simple, place it where you want to be placed. Zoom out, 
the white circle needs to be uh, over your uh, avatar completely. Your uh, your logo should be inside there in order for this uh, technique to work. Okay. Looks good to me. Yeah, that looks even better. Okay, let's go like that. Oh no. Hard when you miss uh, shots like that. Look at the slope of the, on this green. It just went like that, over the hole, but not in. Ugh. That's a pity. Should we retry it? Because we didn't got the eagle. I think we should actually retry it since we, we're not so far in the, the round. We still have three retries left. So I'm gonna restart it. Because I know we can do better, so I don't want to leave a stroke there if we can't get it easily. And now we're gonna have uh, another chance on this one as well. So, uh, yeah. Don't want to uh, spend all uh, 18 balls and then try it again, so I'll just try it again directly. Yes, exactly. I uh, I definitely can get uh, this one as well. Oh, now I have a head cross. First time I had just head. Okay. Uh, not the issue. Ramon, what? Oh crap, I cannot get it. Okay, we're gonna try a different approach. Do I have room to adjust? I do. Okay. I was short. Yeah, I can get up to 25, I guess. Ah. A uh, bit too much side spin over there. Just a click. A click less uh, side spin, and that would have been in. Okay. We didn't got one, but uh, we can get two. That was harsh. So now I'm not gonna have uh, only head? Yeah, see? Now they changed uh, from head to cross head. I was having uh, directly headwind the first time, so they did change it. Oh no, double great. Be good. Maybe a plus 10 ball. Yeah, we could have gone with plus 10 ball, but we should still reach it with the, with the L Capitan here. See, last, last time I had to adjust on that direction. I'm gonna go on the other side. Which is not 
completely bad. I just have to uh, align it with the wind for the approach shot. Like so. Okay, we are pretty much at the same distance, but we know now that the green slopes If I miss on the right side now, I'll not believe it. No, that's center. Okay. So we got this one. <clears throat> so careful on this green. It slopes uh, when it runs out of juice, of uh, power. It slopes to the left side. That's why you miss it. Nice. Needed that. Okay, par four. Let's see. It should be in the long, long iron range every single time. I don't know what happened on hole one. Uh, I'm not that close. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, it looks good from this side. Ah, I hate it when I do uh, like slight grits. Again, bouncing to the hole. Ah, over adjusted it. second time. I was close to max, so I uh, said uh, to give it uh, 0.2 more. So normally I do uh, free rings for. Uh, 4.5 wind and I had 4.3 and I still did three rings adjustment need to be uh, 2.8 okay this is a long par 4 so in order to get in distance I'm gonna have to go with some overpower here just a tiny bit Well, uh, doesn't really matter, but Stefan, because uh, this ball having uh, the perfect zone increased, even slides greats will still gonna go as perfect. So uh, that's why I, I don't really. Uh... You're gonna see. You're gonna see that when we're gonna drop one with uh, with a great shot, we're gonna you're gonna see what I uh, what I mean. So even if we set grades there, it still went perfect. That was uh, my adjustment, uh, not uh, not that I hit it great or not. That happens on the paid balls usually. Okay, straight at the pin. I'm gonna go with less removal 
I'm gonna go with 1.5. Uh, let's go with the uh, half a side spin because it's not cross, it's just a bit of cross. And let's adjust 4.1 as it should be adjusted 4.1. So Turing it's free. This is 3.5. So 0.3 of the ring it's a uh, 3.5, then 0.6 of a ring, it's 4, then just a bit more, this should be around uh, 4.1 rings. Like I usually adjust for. <laughs> come on. Uh, come on, buddy. Come on. So, the adjustment works still the same. It's uh, 1.5 per ring. Over here. Yeah. So the only way I need the uh, to change, I think it's uh, on par freeze, because uh, oh no, I have the. Oh look at that! I have the long iron, and headwind it actually makes it perfect. Okay, great. Come on, get there. No, oh, doesn't work. So let's see, swapping balls. Do I have something that it's uh, power seven? Yeah, I cannot see show you here, but uh, I'm gonna go uh, on a small bowl review afterwards and show you what I mean. This is the best ball you you can have in uh, Ultimate Golf. So it has power 11 with wind. Uh, no, I said I had just one power 11. This is the other power 11 that I have that I won recently, the Gold Cup balls. So this was no power nine, power nine, power nine, power nine, power eight on the katana. So only power nine and eight. Ah, uh, I saw I saw power eight. Oh, the one we play, it's a power eight. Okay, so we'll do something different. Let's see, how less we need to adjust, it's uh, about 0.5 of a ring. So we're gonna do something different here. We're gonna place our landing spot as uh, we are going to the pin, then removing the backspin as we were going to remove, placing the side spin as we were going to place, adjust the rings, which will be close to three rings, but not three. And afterwards, I'm gonna place. You see the ball guide going uh, overlapping together. If I'm doing this, I'm gonna be exactly straight line towards the pin. So I'm gonna place myself overlapping over there. And from this position, I'm gonna push back half of that ring that I was needing to uh, adjust to go back to uh, the min line. And then we're gonna take the ultimate shot and let's see what it does. Uh, did I have full backspin? Didn't look I still had full backspin. Should have been uh, stopping way shorter than that. Or I over adjusted since it was at the min line. Shouldn't do uh, that much. Well. Bummer. <laughs> That's a bummer. Okay, this is perfect headwind. But you know, we have... Uh, we have to go further, so let's go with the Pro Trophy Ball. This is gonna be five, 
five wind versus but it was four wind so i don't know if a plus one power will uh, actually matter i think it's better to use this ball overall less wind gonna actually make me travel a bit further than uh, having a plus one more power but uh, less uh, wind reduction so I did hit a double grade there. That was gonna cost me as a great. That was gonna go as a great. Still gonna be safe, because uh, when you're doing overpower shots, uh, please leave your uh, great safe on all, uh, all the sides, because uh, you're gonna hit them from time to time, if not more, more than you imagine. Okay, so we're gonna get on the green, if not close to the green. Oh my, no. We're gonna get into the bunker with that great. Or I might be lucky and stop before. Ooh. Okay, straight way to the hole. <laughs> oh, that was... Uh, that was interesting to see. Went short. Okay, so I'm in close to no adjustment range. So it does need slight adjustments. That means this is where I want to go. And this is where we're gonna aim to. Still got an eagle. Hard to get on the green uh, with uh, with all these uh, headwinds. I'll tell you that. Hard to get in the pot zone. We need uh, stronger clubs. Okay, so we'll need to save here and switch the clubs. We'll need uh, the root for the backspin. So that's this will gonna be better. Let's see if we can uh, get this one in. My uh, my root club plays the same as my uh, short uh, my long iron. So, but it's harder to see that ball guy, and usually it's a lot shorter than the than the big foot. So this is gonna go further from the hole. Yeah, around one and five and a half green squares for this one. I'm gonna place it a bit over there. Yeah, it looks like it's going on the hole. So being so straight. the backspin removal no side spin needed Actually, I'm gonna go just one backspin remover now let's go 3.8 gonna be around here Let's see. Oh, just bounced over the hole. Come on. One drop. I need one drop, please. Today. 
Oh, uh, guys, if you enjoy it and you don't have the game, you can find the, the link to download the game on iOS and Android on the description down below of this video. And I would appreciate if you uh, can hit that uh, like button on the stream and subscribe to the channel if you're not. Does help. Okay. I'll leave it over here. Can we drive it, actually? I wonder. We're in a good spot. I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna go with the... Fuel type ball. Power 9, 8%. Or should we spend one of these gold cup balls? Let's try it. Best uh, drive distance and best wind reduction. It's still a 80% wind reduction. Let's see how far we're gonna go with this one. First time trying it. Sending it on a headwind and still getting close to the green. Very calls for uh, no uh, adjustment range. I'm just about outside the no adjustment range, so it needs baby adjustments. Adjusted. Yeah, we're definitely disadvantaged on club levels for sure, uh, Jared. And uh, I roughly got uh, the, got it to level five. Wasn't uh, was a lot of speed openings uh, and uh, other stuff to actually make it uh, make it like this. Okay, I'm I'm terrible so far. No drops, and uh, believe me, on this this level, you need drops. You need to drop pretty much everything if you want to uh, get the banner or close to. If it's reachable and droppable, a lot of guys will drop it. And if it's not you, you're you know. It's gonna be on the last side, but uh, being on the weekend round, on the on the weekend round, on the final round on this uh, tournament, it was a free uh, round tournament with 18 holes, and we said, okay, we're gonna try with the uh, pro D once. We'll if you'll qualify, okay. If not, okay. And apparently, we did qualify for both of the rounds, which was impressive. Wasn't expecting that. I was expecting to. Uh, this morning to see, eh, you're, you didn't qualify. <laughs> but I saw that I did qualify. Okay, so this is gonna be closer. Something like so. Goal guide, nice. So that's the mount that we're gonna remove. No uh, side spin needed because it's uh, pretty much full head. As you can see, I'm pulling close to the same uh, way I'm going. So 4.3, I'm gonna adjust 4.3. I'm not gonna go with 4.5 as adjustment, even if I'm close to max. So I guess that's the wind uh, angle. You're gonna see that the slight gray shot will gonna still go perfect. And we have it! We have the eagle! Eagle has landed! Let's go! 
like you saw with a with a slight grade. So uh, these uh, these grades are uh, not gonna count with uh, with special balls. How are you doing, Simon? Thank you for the booms. That was a slight grade, right? Not the perfect. Okay, we played night. <laughs> Oh, now it's daylight. I do like daylight. So what I'm doing, I'm having a specific place where I'm placing uh, my adjustment to get in range for the uh, long iron. And I'm gonna try to go as much as I can on the right side to have as much headwind but not cross as possible. Gonna need a bit of OP here. Thank you for the good luck, Simon! And the booms! Well, here it's, uh, here it's BAMS, <laughs> not booms. So it slopes back down. Well, it's still gonna have a bit of a cross. Not that much. Okay, we're in good position. To also adjust. So I know exactly what to remove for the backspin now. So it's 1.5 backspin removal for the wind push. The only thing is getting this one to go as I want to go. Like so. When it's overlapping there, it needs to go in the hole. As you can see, now it's going on the right side of the hole. So I'm overlapping it again. Now it is on pin. And it's remaining on pin when I'm moving around. The wind is pretty much straight again. So removing that 1.5 backspin for the wind push. Very hard to remove 0.5 for size. Now I see I have the ball guide exactly at the hole. It looks like I'm pulling in a different angle. So this is the wind direction. And 4.2, so this will gonna be 4 around here. This will gonna be 4.2. Adjusting for my rings. Ultimate shot. Let's see if we adjust it properly. Now, just a bit more than uh, we just over adjusted, just a bit. Tiny bit. Stopped exactly at the hole where we wanted to stop, but. Uh, over adjusted a bit on the left side. So also pull angles uh, needs to be first. You have you played today. I didn't understand that, uh, Stefan. Oh, Uncle Fungus. Okay, I gotcha. <laughs> That was addressed to Simon. Let's try to get it. All the pipe fives needs to be eagled. And if you play with the lower level clubs and the lower level balls as well, it's gonna be hard to get it in for the pipe fives. I'm gonna reach with this one, I guess, to 140 yards. Yeah, but I'm not gonna have topspin for it, won't I? Will I? No, I won't. So, even that it shows when I'm going full OP that it shows at the hole, I'm gonna be shorter than that because of the headwind push. So I'm taking that in consideration as well. 
gonna need the El Capitan for a tiny bit of more topspin. Oh, we moved uh, as far as we could move, Simon, so uh, don't you worry about lower tours, you're gonna win them. I think until uh, Tour 6 we played with basic balls. Anyway. Oh, Rob G, how are you doing? Welcome, buddy. So, this is weird, because the this is the sloped here. If you go over here, you're gonna go further than if you go over here. But I want to go over here. Because I can control the ball better than Luigi's spots. I'm gonna leave it like that. Gonna add just a bit more topspin for the wind push. I'm hoping that will gonna stop me a bit. I know this club it's uh, usually on. It's not gonna be stopped when you play, place a lot of topspin. So that's 2.9. That's free. Around here we're gonna be 4.1. I'm guesstimating. Usually I'm good uh, at guesstimating here. How are you doing, Sebastian? You play real finger golf now? Oh, perfect speed. <laughs> a bit more, just a tiny bit more top spin there. Uh, would have been nice to get an Albi on this one. That wasn't bad. Finally, uh, par 5 that we uh, reached the green. No leaning to OP on that. But, you know, after that par 5, we're gonna get the par 3 where we need to swap the ball. That's all. Gonna go with Yuletide. Gonna get a bit more distance over here. But we're still not gonna be able to adjust like three rings and something. So the thing that we're gonna do is actually remove the backspin to have a, a better idea where we're gonna go and how we're gonna go. A tiny bit more. Clicking on uh, on spin here. Yeah, I guess something like that. Well, that looks good. Gonna reduce another 1.5. Well, that it's at the pin exactly, currently. I think I'm gonna add a bit more, just a click. I'm gonna adjust for four rings, four wind, which is this amount. Uh, we see that we need some OP on it. Let's see. I think we placed a bit too much OP, but... No, we didn't! We got the holy wall, let's go! <laughs> Overpower shot in the hole. That's what I'm talking about. Whoop, whoop. Oh, that, that went really good. That feels real nice. So let's go back to our uh, Crunching Dragon Balls. 
We got this ones uh, from a tournament as well, and also from the ultimate pass. Thank you for the bams, guys. Yeah, that went the old went in nicely, I would say. Hey, P, thank you for uh, the sub and being here, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Okay. So I don't like that my ball guide goes to the right there. That means the green slopes. So what I can do now... So I'm gonna try to straighten that up, placing side spin. That is too much. So I want to overlap with the hole there. Okay, that's more like it. A bit more. Okay, that's perfect. Ball guide looks uh, just about right. And a bit more back. Chris, welcome. Thank you. That feels about right. Okay, we're gonna remove 1.5 back. I'm gonna do. I want to do a click more. I'm just gonna go and move my landing position with two clicks to the right because of the wind push as well. And then just for 4.3, so we're gonna be closer to 4.5, which is gonna be around there. Let's see. Oh, bounce over the hole. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that it helps, uh, AP. I'm just having fun. I'm uh, nowhere near the top uh, top players that are playing this game or any other game uh, from uh, that perspective. But I do have fun uh, playing them. So uh, if uh, something works for me and can work for you and uh, I can share it, I'll uh, glad you do. Do share it. Oh no, don't give me the short iron. This won't work. Okay, we're gonna need our savior, which we're gonna be the Spectre. The Spectre is the short iron that. Uh, has the most backspin, but uh, because it has a lot more distance than Iron uh, Eagle, it's overlapping with my Bigfoot, so it's my it's placing my uh, minimum distance of the Bigfoot a lot further from minimum distance, so it's actually eating some distance off my big, Bigfoot, so to say. You'll see that, look at how far it is right now, and from this it's just a big small portion of the Bigfoot and before that until here it was Bigfoot entirely because I had the other club that was having a less distance but Spectre it's big so because wedges are always until this point from this point the short iron goes up there so if we had a shorter wedge this uh, minimum distance of the short iron we're gonna decrease and we're gonna be playing short iron over here as well. So let's see what we can do. I don't really like this club because uh, when you go with full backspin, it usually tends to go backwards on some greens. And that's why I prefer the Bigfoot.
but uh, pretty much it plays the same as the Bigfoot. From uh, medium distance it's still playing uh, 1.5 per ring. Closer to uh, min distance it's uh, actually less than that and closer to max distance actually it's more than that. I cannot tell you by how much because I don't know myself by how much. So I'm removing the backspin for the headwind push and looks like uh, I have just a bit of cross to the right so I'm gonna remove also a bit of right over here just placing my ball guide missing the pin to the right side that should be enough looks like my ball guide it's going over the hole so I think that's too much reduction I used to go at the hole when I'm uh, applying the the spin okay now it's at the pin Gotta count on the wind to push me back. Gonna go with about this much. At one point, this club was really precise, uh, but uh, since I upgraded it, it's uh, less reliable now because I don't know exactly the rings on every single part of it. Uh, okay, short. This was your first holy one in a in a tiebreaker. Yeah, this was the first holy one in the tiebreaker, and in the tour pro uh, tournament. <laughs> uh, if you. Uh, yeah, if you want to have custom grids, uh, like I do, uh, without lagging up and or heating your battery, so you can have uh, these ones from iOS directly, if uh, they are appearing, there you go, you know, this, uh, with numbers, which I hate because it uh, hits my battery, as well as consuming a lot of resources, as well as lagging sometimes. So, for having custom grids, you're gonna have to uh, jailbreak your iPad. So, if you have an older version of uh, the iOS, you can do it. If not, do not upgrade the iOS version and uh, wait for a while. You're gonna come a jailbroken version uh, soon. For uh, I don't know where they are currently. Oh, you just hit. You just hit your first hole in one. Nice, Simon. Bams for that. I thought you were talking about me, but you were talking about yourself. You selfish. Beautiful buddy. <laughs> we both got it. We both got it. <laughs> so AP, if you uh, if you want to get in contact with me after the stream, we can uh, try something out. And if uh, your version of iOS it's compatible with uh, the jailbroken uh, version I have, we can uh, do something together. Oh, I'm in mid distance of the longer, which is great. Not bad. Oh, I have uh, the, the other short iron in the bag, that's why. It's eating my uh, Bigfoot uh, distance. So looking from the side, don't get that house in there, because I cannot see any ball guide. Give me something with more contrast. Okay, so I'm getting at the pin just a bit below before the pin. There we go. That's the distance I want. It's perfectly aligned. I'm gonna reduce that 1.5. Gonna add just a click of left. You see my ball guide now, it's missing the pin to the right side. And 
we're gonna go about this amount. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I needed more uh, side spin over there. Ah. Good speed. I did the uh, because I, I saw it was a lot more headwind. I saw I thought it wasn't needing it uh, that much, but uh, but apparently it did need a bit more than that. <clears throat> Another par four, the same uh, thing. We'll lay, lay up for our Bigfoot. We definitely need to change that uh, spec tray from the back. It's uh, definitely not helpful for uh, for getting in range in the middle range of the Bigfoot. It's what I'm uh, trying here. So, uh, AP, do you have uh, my uh, Facebook uh, address, my Facebook link? If not, uh, can somebody from uh, you moderators, and uh, I know I'm, uh, I moderated every one of you in the chat, <laughs> uh, can drop my uh, Facebook link. So we're gonna have crosswind on this one. Just a tiny bit less than that, so close to two rings. Now definitely we're gonna have cross. And for crosswind I'm going one bar for each free side spin. So for this I'm gonna go one bar and a bit. Also removing one and that backspin then adjust for 4.4 we're gonna be around there I'm gonna say my uh, adjustments are precise which account uh, the Radusua please my main one It's the one that I'm uh, most active on. Woo -hoo. There we go. <laughs> eagle, eagle. There we go. Well, not it's it's not that uh, you have like a timed uh, timed one, uh, Simon. Okay, let, let me do it. Take your shot, buddy. I'm on it. There you go. So, don't send me a friend request because usually I'm not uh, answering to those. I'm having like uh, over 900 friend requests sent that I'm not responding. But do please send me a, a, a message inside. Thank you for the BAMS, beautiful people. Let's go. That's great. We can get up there. We can get up there. Definitely not gonna last, but we can get up there. And that's an achievement for me. If I'm on stream on the first place, finishing on the first place, that's gonna be an awesome achievement. Par 5. I'm gonna go with everything I got on this one. The winner we're gonna get tour pro tour balls so that's fine get on the green let's get some tiebreaker points oh, we can get it easily on the green with these clubs and these balls
As you can see, going further back here, increase my ball guard. That means I'm gonna go longer. Going like this, I'm gonna go shorter. Which doesn't really make sense for my stupid brain. But we're gonna go and place it further back then. Gonna increase the full topspin. Full topspin on this club, it's... Uh, it's really scary. I can actually flu the green here. Let's see how it goes. Good speed. Stopped by the hole. Easy, nice spot for the eagle on the par 5. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit more sloped down. So you're gonna gain more speed while you go. And uh, if it slopes up, you're gonna stop faster when you bounce on the first bounce. I... I know, I'm already first and I ha still have a hole to play? What the heck is going on? What the heck? Is this still Tour Pro? I think I'm in, in Tour Pro, right? The... The Ultimate Golf Gods were with me today, apparently choosing me to play on this bracket. Yeah, great it. <laughs> That'll be nice to have uh, my first uh, Tour Pro banner first place. Never thought that was gonna happen. Hey, chat! How are you doing, buddy? Uh, we're definitely in short time and distance. I definitely need to change this club. So let's see, do we have enough to play without changing? Because I don't want to go and change it. Yeah, I definitely need to go back and change that club. It's overlapping with my big foot. So you saw that I was in min distance and when I wanted to go a bit back to adjust, and place my uh, my landing position where I want it. I was overlapping. Oh, Hellfire! There we go. So you're gonna see after placing the Iron Eagle because it has so much less uh, distance. You'll see how much I can uh, adjust. Oh, so sorry, Chad. Hope I wasn't the one to take your place. Took your place. Now, see, I'm I'm with Long Iron from this distance. And I'm not even applying backspin. So, before, over here, I was in minimum distance of the club. Now, because I changed that, I can go up until here. So, if you cannot adjust with your club, go and change it. <laughs> then come back. Saved me multiple times on uh, some holes. Nice ball guide. There it's where it should be. Looks like it's going to the left side. I'm gonna place it straight. No, I'm gonna remove it and place it at the pin. I like it's going over here to the left. So now it's at the pin. Let me check again the distance. Looks good. Yep. It's also uh, in line with the wind, so that's fine. That means I don't need to uh, play side spin on it. Even that uh, 
you see I'm adjusting to a different angle as my main ball guide. The last part of the ball guide is actually matched up with the wind direction. Pretty much. So yeah. 4.1 are gonna be around here. I'm having it straight. Ice Dragon course is insane. Yeah, I guess it is. And we got another eagle. Come on, let's go. Woo! Nice, nice. So back nine looked like a, a good one. Minus 14 back. With, uh, with two drops. Oh no, we have one, two, Three drops on the back nine and one drop on the front so that placed me currently with minus 26 on top over there for the on the final round it does make sense to spend the balls on the on the final round because that's the round that counts on uh, most of the tournaments <coughs> and got a uh, Achievement as well, and double achievement, and triple achievement. Good. So three missions completed. I didn't have the uh, these uh, tour pro balls, and that was gonna give me another 256 pro D ones as well. But the thing is, I I don't have to uh, actually. Uh, be happy right now because uh, there are some other guys that I, I they didn't play and uh, we can check them they're tour pro free players and as I'm looking at their banners they're not doing a pretty good job at least this one I'm gonna check it uh, quickly not this one But who knows, maybe they are lucky and uh, they get it this time. So, for example, this was uh, rank 8, 20, so I don't see any banners on the Tour Pro. Just this one, he got second on a tournament. And Bird, the last one that I need to check as well, doesn't look like... Ooh, a gold banner on the bass. Oh, boss battle. I also have a gold banner on that. Okay, looks uh, looks decent. Looks decent, guys. Looks solid. I hope it holds. Let's see how we look. How we are looking from that perspective. <laughs> We're having the Tournament of Champions first place at Matt of, of Tour Pro, so that's not the first one that uh, the first time that we're gonna get the gold. And yeah, the rest are pros. And uh, yeah, you know. Going! Fighting! That was uh, solid, guys. That was solid. Hope it holds. And uh, AP, please contact me. I have uh, like half an hour free before I'm going to bed from uh, from this point so uh, send me a message on uh, on the link I uh, did I send the Facebook link up there yeah I placed the, your the Facebook link uh, in the chat send me a message on messenger I'll uh, get in touch with you and uh, see what we can uh, solve for getting you grids <clears throat> but like I said first we need to uh, jailbroke your iPad I'm gonna teach you how to do it and uh, we'll see if your version it's compatible with uh, with that if you if grids is what you want okay guys thank you again for uh, joining me today 
Uh, don't forget to uh, hit your hit the thumbs up button when uh, you leave. <clears throat> I'm gonna warp the stream now. Uh, if you uh, want to add me as friends, you can have the my friend code under my name over there in the game. Also, if you don't have the game and you enjoy it and you want to learn more, uh, stay tuned on the, on the channel and uh, get your game for free on the description down below the video. Until later, guys, stay safe and uh, good luck on your rounds. Bye-bye.